T4 phage attaches itself to the host using its tail fibers to stick to specific receptor sites on the surface of the E. coli. Then the sheath of the phage contracts, punching a hole onto the bacterial wall. The hollow core of the tail then pushes through the cell wall, allowing its DNA to move into the cell. Once inside, the whole cell's DNA is hydrolyzed and the viral gene begins to replicate by controlling the cell's metabolic machinery. The phage uses the whole cell's degraded DNA to make phage proteins and nucleotides. Once the three parts of the virus is reproduced, i.e. the heads, the tails and the tail fibers, it begins to reassemble into new phage particles. Click next to continue. Once assembled, the new viruses direct production of lysozyme, an enzyme to digest the bacteria's cell wall. With the cell wall damaged, osmosis takes effect and the whole cell starts to swell and eventually burst. This releases 100 to 200 new phage particles. The whole cell is destroyed and the new phage particles goes on to infect new cells.